before the video does begin, right now is a great time to pick up some gamer subs. They're currently releasing a bunch of new waifu cups, new flavors. And the great part is, if you use my code, code of Spoda, you can get yourself free shipping for any orders over $39. So if you want to support the channel and also treat yourself to some gamer subs, well, feel free to use code Asparta. All right, Landis, so the 90 million dollar celebration has officially started. And with that, we have a lot of free summons that we're going to use in this video. So for those that aren't aware, I currently have access to two accounts, right? My main account and my second account. They're the two accounts that we are going to use for today's video. And we're going to start off doing the free Brave Soul Summon. Currently, we are on multi number two. Would love to get something from here. Main character I would like to get is Okura, the power or the speed version. Uh, normally, though, these are obviously four star Multis. And while we did get very lucky last time these three multis came around, I don't think I'm going to be as lucky this time around, right? We started off with that because that's not guaranteed a fire star. That's fine. But what we also do have, which we did get yesterday, actually, is the Battle Ready 6 star Summer Ticket, the 90 million download ticket. And I have some other tickets too, but I'm going to be saving those for the anniversary. In this case, we can use this ticket right now. No need to save it. It includes any premium character and any seasonal character. There's quite a lot of characters that are going to be duplicates, but there's also a good selection of characters that I do not own and any new character would be good here. I think best case scenario would be someone like Halloween Toshiro would be really cool to get and we're getting can we get someone good? No way we got 7th anniversary out of you. That is not a good dupe for me but that's a really good pull. That's a really, really good pull. For anyone else, that might have been amazing. For me, I unfortunately already have him max transcended, so I can't really do much with that. But I'm not going to complain about it. It's always cool when you get an anniversary character, even if it's a character that like, like, has no value on my account right now. But, you know, if I'm going to get a bad duplicate, I'd rather get a bad duplicate. That's cool. And in that case, that's what this Uru is. And then last but not least, to finish up this account in particular, we have the free 1000 G Blood War Summon. Finally, this returned, right? So the chance of us getting any character in particular that we want is very low, given that there's like 40 plus characters to get here. Now, in terms of characters that I am missing, I'm only missing one character here, believe it or not, and it's Lee Jane. Where is he? There he is, right there. That's the one character I'm missing. If I could get him, that'd be really good. Ironically, probably the best thing I can get is Soifon, as she is currently special move level four so another copy of her would be the final duplicate i need but then i would never turn down a duplicate of anyone from these top two rows a duplicate of kilge would be amazing a duplicate of bambi would be amazing likewise a duplicate of prime yamamoto would also be really good here because he is currently a special move level four that would make him five out of five max transcended and it would save me the need of going for that extra copy or using a special move source so hopefully we get something good here as long as it's not bambi Yetta or candace i'm probably happy because every time we get these those are the two characters that i do end up getting right so um, i'm gonna stay positive i'm confident we're gonna get something good here let's find out and for our three thousand year brother character we are getting come on it's namu no i think one of the worst one i gotta go on now <laughs> i think i got her last time too man that absolutely sucks again not a good dip for me I don't have every thousand year blood character max transcended, but Nemo is one of those characters that I do. A really cool character. Would love to see his character get a remake in the future whenever we get this particular scene animated. But for me, she's already max transcended, so I can't really do much with this duplicate. Unfortunately for the main account, a dud. That's fine though. We have an alt account to potentially save us with some good summons here. All right then. So we are currently on the free to play champ account. Let's go ahead and collect the battle ready six star summon ticket because I've yet to actually claim it. So with that, of course, we're going to start off with the free multi. I wasn't able to do the first multi before reset. So I'm currently a multi behind right now, but that's fine. I got to the 11th to do all 10 free multis, right? Can we get something good here? Potentially. Doesn't look like it. The golden light came a lot too early. For those that don't know, that's how you can tell if it's a fake out or not when it, in regards to Orihime. The golden light is slightly delayed on or Orihime fake out. It's somewhat hard to tell to be fair, but once you pay attention to it, you'll start to notice it a bit often. But let's scroll down here, right? Let's go ahead and use our battle ready six star summon ticket. In this case, this account, even though it is my alt account, I have done a lot of polymer farming. There's still quite a bit of characters I'm missing. Maybe a lot of seasonal characters. So we can get a seasonal here. That'll be really good. And we're getting... Brian Giku from the summon ticket? No way. I think I have her. So it's not like the best dupe. But no, that's a good dupe. That's a good dupe. I can't complain about that. Our battle already six summon tickets came through. Sam anniversary Uri, like a somewhat newish character. 
and then also Rangiku, who granted is going to be in the end of month banner, but this account is probably skipping the end of month banner. So now I've essentially got the focus slot for Rangiku, which honestly is really, really good. She's a good character, right? She's still going to be my go-to farmer, and even with Noritori existing, I probably would still rather use Rangiku, truth be told. So yeah, honestly, pretty good pull there, even though it was a dupe, it was a good one, it was a new one, and most importantly, it was a seasonal. Now we also do have the current 90 million Dana Cobb quest to talk about that later today, but since I've already done a hundred times on this particular account, we do have a free five-star summon ticket, which to be fair, you can save it. You don't need to use it right now. It's just a normal five-star summon ticket, but for the sake of the video, we'll just use the one ticket, right? So in this case, because it's a normal five-star summon ticket, it can include any premium character, and this one can update, so it's best to save it. In our case, though, we are getting Senkei, Senkei uh, Byakuya, very old character, very old character. I probably have him. I probably have him. I do. I do, so not really the greatest ball. That's fine, though. I'm still relatively very happy with my particular Rangiku ball. Now, with that said, moving on to the free and final 1000 Gear Blood or something that we are going to do today. I generally don't know what characters they are missing, but I assume I'm missing quite a lot of characters. Again, as long as it's not Candice and Bambietta, that's all I get. As long as it's not like a common 1000 Gear Blood character, someone that's more rare that is rarely put in banners, I'll be relatively happy. So in this case, let's go ahead and do it. Anyone, again, from the top two rows would be really good here. A Koge dupe would be amazing. A Bambietta dupe would be amazing. A lot of things would be amazing. But are we going to get that amazing pull? It's Candice. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Every time it's Candice or Bambietta. I think the last three times I've gotten uh, a free single, 1,000 year blood guaranteed character on this account, it's been Candice. And I think she's 5-5 five, five already. Talk about jinxing it. Talk about jinxing it. It's funny. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But let me let me just double check my uh my Candice. Because I'm pretty sure she is 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, look at that. I mean, at least I can now re-roll the 6 slot. Anything is better than a 1-star defense. So it can't be too bad. I guess we'll take the 3-star defense. But with us, the lads, that was the video for today. Just going over our 90 million download summons, right? You get the free 1,000 year Bloodwork character, guaranteed 1,000 year Bloodwork character. So let me know in the comments below what you guys did get. And again, we also do have the 90 million download summon ticket, which you can get just for logging into the game. And they would have gave that out yesterday, so you probably used it. But it does include a good selection of characters. It can give you new seasonal and premium characters. And in our case, you know, we got some pretty good characters. A 7th anniversary Uryu and also a swimsuit Rangiku are honestly really good value pulls. Unfortunately, the greatest for my main account because, again, I already had Uryu Max Transcendent. But the Rangiku dupe was a good one. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.